Hey friends. Remember last week I told y'all this was going to be a really emotional week. The day has come. I have to take my boyfriend to the airport so he can go back overseas. Listen, my homegirl told me I need to speak on this. For the girlies that think, oh, I want my man to play basketball, blah, blah, blah. This is a lonely life. Like, yeah, it seemed like you could be with him all the time. And I mean, you can. Some, some people work like that. But for the most part, it's really lonely because like overseas season is 10 months and i mean i go but there's definitely times where like i come home and he's lonely and i'm lonely it's not for the week if you, like i was just telling my home girl the other day i was like honestly like this kind of relationship i mean not saying this kind of relationship but like it works for me because I'm naturally a person who can be by myself all the time. But it definitely takes a toll because you start getting used to that person being around and being around that person and la da dee la da da butterflies all the damn time. And then there's times like this where it's like, what butterflies? Now we're going to give you waterworks. So, I'm just saying all this to say, it can get lonely. Like, I was literally, I think me and my homegirl was having this discussion in the club. Like, I was here, he was there. I was here for like two months, and we're not an argumentative couple at all. But because, I guess, we be so, like, missing each other, we just end up having, like, petty arguments or just talking to each other any kind of way. And then we realize at the end of the day, it's really because we miss each other. That we seeing about to cut each other's heads off through the phone. But today is the sad day. It starts now. He's home, you guys. He's gone. I just dropped him off. I was so sad. Like, I knew I was going to be sad. But, like, I was really in there, like, boo-hooing. Like a baby. And then I left him. And as I'm walking back to the car, y'all know... Bush Airport is a mess, child. I'm walking back from like one gate to the other. Why is Motley Cyrus the clown playing? Child, she hit that I gotta be strong note and I lost it. Lost it. If my mama hadn't called me, I probably would have been like still sitting in the parking deck boohoo crying because that's my me and my me and my me. I'm telling y'all. This this is not for the week. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. This is not for the week. Even my homegirl, like, her boyfriend plays football. Like, you know. And even she be like, dang, when are you going to see him again? Like, it baffles her how much they be gone. Even my homegirl who played, her man play in the NBA, like, he still be going for damn near a month on road games. This is really ridiculous.
think I'm gonna go to Zara. My boyfriend sent me a whole bunch of like stuff that they were having, so I'm gonna go look and see. I and it was a whole bunch of pants. I don't need any more pants. I have all the pants in the world. I need tops. Bad. But I hate shopping. I don't know what it is like. I hate going in the store. So I'm gonna charge it up. I actually wanna redo our closet because somebody messed it up while they was packing. But also, because I just need it to be a little more organized. So I think I'm going to try to go get the bookshelves and stuff today and do that. That'll fit my shoes. I actually need to really go look, get an idea, take pictures, come home, see how it's going to work. That's the way my mind works. Like, go see what the options are. Come back, get the measurements. Because I told you, I don't measure nothing. I'm not measuring nothing until I see what I like. So that I can see if it'll fit. But that's the plan. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my boyfriend's shoes. He wears a size 14. Who going to hold that big old shoe? And I don't want to do the clear bins because my homegirl, her and her husband were going to do the clear bin option because they have a whole bunch of shoes. And I guess the mate, like one of the maintenance guys told him, like, you know how you just talk. And the maintenance man said those are basically like roaches and little bugs love them clear beans i don't know why needless to say she don't have them in her house i'm not gonna have them in mine because i see a bug and it can have a whole room especially a brooch. so hopefully today i find something that i like i probably check out target i might head up to Max too i love TJ Maxx. it's so fun in here so i'm gonna bring y'all with me um, y'all we we'll start off at such a great day. Oh, please, there's no food in there. I'm on the phone with my friend trying to pick out my bag of the day. That sounds real bougie. It's not like that. I look in one bag. I can't find my passport. Then, as I'm walking through the house, like, oh, maybe it's over here. There's a cricket the size of my hand in this house. We're gonna take this Clorox and we're gonna go kill it. Clorox, please send me a care package. I love y'all. Y'all my y'all my everything. Counters, bathrooms, pesticides, everything I need. Where is my passport? I need that in like a month. Girl, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Where it could be. 
And you know what? Now I gotta clean that up before I leave because I leave. Yeah, I, just I can't leave Uzi out in that Clorox on the floor. Mm -hmm. I gotta pick it up. Friend, mm -hmm. do I have to pick it up? Yeah, get you some paper towels and get it. <laughs> Ooh, let me get that go. You said the fridge kind of cute. Hey, that's easier. This is a lot. We're home, guys. We're back home. So, I did not go to Zara because I did not feel like sitting in traffic. And where we left off at, what happened? I lost my passport. I didn't lose it. My boyfriend had it this whole time. Like, I text him anticipating to be like, okay, hey, what the fuck, you lost it. But, yeah, I left the house. Like, I left. Uzi out, which I do often, but like if I feel like I'm gonna be gone for a while, I won't leave him out just because he's real unpredictable. And so I left him out. I'm like going down the highway and I'm like, I was really just going to get me something to eat. Like I was gonna get something to eat and then decide from there, like, okay, am I gonna go here or am I gonna go there? And I left him out because as soon as I pulled out the driveway, I was like, I should not be leaving the house and I don't know where my passport is. Like, that's negligence. It's already irresponsible. I don't know where it is. But now I'm just really being crazy because I can't find it and I done just left the house and think I'm going to go have a happy-go-lucky day. And a second form of my identification is gone. Child, anyways, I found it. Well, he said it is where it is. I'm going to just trust that. No, I'm going to go check. I'm going to go check because I don't have the time for it not to be there. And then it comes time for me to go see him and it's gone. <sighs> so I did go to Target though. My Target sucks. Target, no shade, dude. I love Target. Before Target was the hype of what it is now, like before Target had the Starbucks, I've been seeing Target since they were serving them cinnamon pretzels. My mama know what I'm talking about. A cinnamon pretzel and a cherry Coke at the time. That's how long I've been with y'all. Can y'all fix my Target in my neighborhood, please? They be having nothing. Like, they have little stuff, but when I lived in San Antonio, I feel like my Target used to have the goods. I mean, like, the stuff y'all was showing on TikTok, I had already because my Target was Listen, but can I target if y'all see this, please help mine out, please. But yeah, they didn't have little organization bins I wanted, so walked out of there, child, and then went to Home Goods. They did have some stuff in there. They did have a rug. I did like it, but I'm scared it's gonna like my couch is gray. The floors are really brownish grayish i don't know but i'm scared like any rug i get is i don't want it to be like too matchy matchy with the couch and i don't want it to be too matchy with the ground so once again i'm the reason my house is empty because i don't know i don't like buying stuff and then just returning it i'm not gonna return it i mean i guess i'll return a rug but who wants me myself and i who wants to lug a rug all the way out of my car into my house? No. My best friend coming town next week, so I'm gonna just drag her along for the ride and that's just gonna be dead on that. Y'all, Home Goods is busting today. I just bought a rug. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in here. I really don't even know if this rug is gonna fit actually let me go ahead and lay my seats down because this the one I came here for originally was not this big but this one was on like it was originally like a $1,200 rug and now they went like maybe I should close my door I live in Texas I don't even thank y'all for the steal my car um the rug was like originally $1,200 
and they had it on sale today for $250. I can't leave it. I can't leave it. A $1,200 rug for $250 and I'm looking at it and ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It must be bought. It must be purchased. And I gotta move my seat up. Y'all. I don't know if this rug is gonna fit in my car. This is not a good idea. It's gonna have to fit. I don't I don't have no friends out here that have a truck. Oh no. This one I'm looking at a bigger car because I'm always buying something that's ginormous and huge. You know what I hate though when you come into these stores and like I get it's y'all's job to push these credit cards and y'all probably get some incentive but like if I said no oh no if I said no the first time why do I have to say no five more times and I've worked retail so I get it like you almost do need to be somewhat type of pushy but like if I said no the first time, stop asking me. Yeah, I hope this rug fits. I'm really hoping and praying this rug fits, fits. Okay, friends. It fit. We're good to go. Hopefully, I like it. Because, like I said, this is not the original one that I had in mind when I was coming to pick up the rug. But... $1,300 rug. It's on sale for $250 and it matched my colors a little bit. I just got home from my doctor's appointment. Um, was this being really dramatic today? I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, I got no sleep last night. My appointment was at 10. I didn't go to sleep, so that means I had to be up by 9.30 just to give myself some time. I didn't go to sleep until like, <laughs> finds a new way every day to piss me off. Um, so that means I really didn't go to sleep until like 7.30. Needless to say, I'm probably going to go back to bed, but I do want to come on here and say good morning to you guys. Also, my new doctor here in Houston, amazing. I've never had like the most seamless gynecologist appointment. Uzi is so rude. He don't want us women to be great. Um, she was great. First of all, I was literally in and out within an hour. What doctor's appointment do y'all go to and be in and out within an hour? If y'all have, let me know. I, I too would like to go there. 
but there's that um yeah she was so great i found like a black doctor a black gynecologist in houston 20 minutes from my house she's great what more could i ask for her? but now uzi wants to be rude he never lets me do anything that does not involve him i'm telling y'all if you are a girl and you're thinking about getting a doberman just reconsider. Ah, sit down. I didn't say Camille yet. Why are you being ridiculous today? What's going on with you? Now you got to look ashamed because you know you're being ridiculous. Get in here. I'm trying to let him out. He's be a crackhead outside. He chooses to be a crackhead inside. I don't know why. But I'm probably definitely about to lay back down for a minute because me not going to sleep was really crazy. I'm surprised I even look halfway decent. Why are you crying? You're a spoiled dog in America and you got nerve to be crying. Anyways. Good morning guys, I'm back and I say good morning because remember I told you I was taking a nap. I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I'm probably gonna cook tonight and I'll probably, I'm good. I'm burnt out on like eating out, I really am. I'm so tired of it. So I'm gonna cook tonight, probably chill. May get a little glass of wine, I don't know. I don't know, gotta set the mood for cooking though. So, yeah. That's really all I can think of. No, I was just telling my boyfriend about the gynecologist appointment. Y'all, she was really 10 out of 10. Like, it's not many times that you find like, first of all, a black female gynecologist that's like, she was so gentle. And she was explaining on ways to like, make your business more comfortable. She was great. I, I love her. She don't even know it yet, but I love her. I don't even know if she'll see this, but if you see this, I love you. You are the best gynecologist I've ever experienced in my life. And as a girl, as a woman, y'all know them gynecologist appointments can be almost torturous, depending on your doctor. That's why I think I'm stressing it so much. She was so good. Um, I have another doctor's appointment in the morning. I think it's like my general doctor though. So I can do that. We gotta make sure we good. We gotta make sure we healthy. Child, I need to take this band out. Why is it at the doctor's office? Daily having all these industrial band-aids. Like y'all don't just have the non-waterproof. <laughs> I can't get it off. That hurts so bad. Just that one little piece. Ooh. And I have hairy arms. I don't know how I'm going to get this off of me. Why do y'all do this? For this little, this little band-aid y'all know we can leave on for 10 minutes. What, why do y'all give us the waterproof, good, great industrial band-aids? Okay. I'm, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to just rip it off. I think I got a good grip on it. That's what's gonna piss me off if I don't have good grip. Ah! Oh, that hurt. Oh, I done broke a sweat. Taking a dog on my bandaid off. I got the bro.
Hey, is that my, what am I missing? Good morning. It is 10.37. I've actually been up since like six, but you now you just have those days where like you just wanna lay in a bit. Um, so I didn't vlog yesterday. <laughs> It's a lot going on this morning. I can't keep my head focused. I didn't vlog yesterday. I don't know. Yesterday I was actually working on um, this training that I'm in right now. So I just didn't vlog that at all. But I did have another doctor's appointment and they gave me a shot. My arm hurts so bad. Like right in here. And I know that's like a normal side effect, but I haven't had a shot. Child, them doctor asked me what my last shot was, and I was like, I had to have been all of 18 or 19 when I was getting like the birth control shot. My arm is killing me. And she told me, I don't like seeking my contacts and stuff. And she told me to take um, like a Tylenol or something for the pain. But me being me, I don't, I'm not going to say I think I'm big and I'm bad and I'm hard, but like, I just don't like, the only time I'm going to take a pain pill is if my head is hurting. Anything else, just we just going to have to thug it out. But I don't know, y'all. I might take the pill because my arm hurts. Today is a light day. I know for a fact, I'm either, I'm probably gonna go back to Hobby Lobby or Michael's because I'm gonna see what size canvases I wanna do. I'm playing. That is doggone silly. Let me just take y'all over here. So, I wanna do, um, I need to put something behind the TV, but like, I don't know necessarily what exactly or how I want to do it. I know something. I don't know. That's why I just need to go to the store because sitting here looking at I have the vision, but I don't know if it's going to look right when I do it. Maybe if I measure it, maybe it just need to go from ceiling to like right above the TV and I do three, but I space them out. I don't know. We'll figure it out because I kind of want this wall is just so like there's nothing there other than like the TV cute stuff. It needs something on the wall. So I know for a fact I'm going to do that today. I may go to Bath and Body Works because I need some more plugins. But okay, friends. So the last time we talked, I told you I was going to Hobby Lobby. I went, I took no measurements. I do that every time when I need to like measure how big I want something. Needless to say, I didn't get the stuff in Hobby Lobby, but I also would much rather have my best friend be with me when I do all of that because I don't trust myself when it comes to like stuff like that. I need I need two sets of eyes to help tell me what I need to buy, what of how many like little play-doh or clay things do I need to get. So Child, I told her she got 24 to 48 hours to go with her. Otherwise, she is leaving me for dead. And I'm going to just assume she don't care about me because she know I need her help. Needless to say, after that, I went into Home Depot because I told her I got my grass cut. And we had been saying we was going to put some rocks. Can I turn it on here? Yeah. We was going to put some rocks, like, at the front of our house to help with like the amount of weeds and stuff that grow up at the front. Why did I decide to do this at the peak of the day? Like the high is 104, it's 104 right now. I should turn right here because I want a smoothie. Um, first of all, the song that kept playing in my head when I was looking for these rocks and pushing the cart throughout Home Depot was I'm just a girl. Because it's hot. My edges is sweating out. It's hot. Now I got more. I'm going to have to wrap my hair when I get home. Before I just start this little project. Because I don't have time. It's so hot. I'm going to get me a smoothie. And. Maybe later I'll show y'all. Putting them rocks down. I just don't know though. 
we're doing a lot of home improvement though like my biggest thing now is getting our house together like we moved in march was it march i came home i don't know needless to say it was at some point it was march it was march. it was march our lease is 12 months the house look i mean outside of me just getting the rug that i showed y'all the house is real like empty and our lease ain't number but 12 months it's gonna be march off again september y'all know how the year fly by so now my biggest project is put my house together because i can't keep looking at these, these white walls if i'm gonna sit in my house i need it to be everything i've ever wanted a house to be that i get to decorate so that's the project's for the next couple months y'all probably honestly every other weekly vlog will probably be like house the court or me running around trying to figure out how to do stuff by myself but i'm gonna call y'all when i get home because the police be heavy out here so i'll call good morning friends we're back we're headed to a brunch with my good friend mariah i'm so excited to see her yeah I'm just so excited. I ain't seen her since the last time I came home from Europe. And that was going on four months ago. And this is like my good sis. Like in college, it was almost like you didn't see me if you didn't see her. If you was wondering where I was at, I was at Mariah's house. Not some that it's here. So excited to see her. And we were just having a talk about like friendships growing, but also appreciating the friendships that you have. And that's one friend that I really appreciate because I feel like at one point I didn't have a lot of friends that would tell me no. Did that make sense? Like nobody ever, like they would call me out on my stuff, but they would like, they would just go along with my shenanigans. And I'm at the point where I don't want a yes man as a friend. None of my friends are like that now though. College, that's on my head if I was messing up, but this is just one of those friendships where it developed oh hold on jeez it developed out of nowhere like when we first met it's really funny and she'll tell anybody that she did not like me when we first met and she didn't like me because she felt like i was ghetto girl was that's why i was real i was real ooh. I was real dry like I wasn't as friendly and nice as I am now so back then she probably spoke and I was just like what's up she did not like me at all so it's an ongoing joke like how do we get this close and you didn't even like me oh no girl but that's my girl now but I really appreciate like her friendship she gets me you know like at first, we used to kind of get into it because I'm the type of person, I, when I go through stuff, I kind of shut the world out. I don't want to talk to nobody. At first, she wouldn't understand. Now, she'd be like, you good? I ain't heard from you, but all right. I'm just checking on you. Like, that's the kind of friend she is. And also, I ain't never used this, but this is definitely my shade. She be buying stuff. Blurring skin tint. Trying to think, do I want to like put this on? Why not? But, um, yeah, and she's one of those, those friends, like, we were talking about friends that feel overly obligated to your time. Basically, meaning, like, Oh, you can't make it to something or let's say you make something else a priority. It's like they almost stop talking to you because of it. And it's like, I get it, but you know, I can't explain it. If you know I'm there 98% of the time, you mad at me over this one time that I can't make something or this one time I put something else as a priority. I don't. I don't like friendships like that. Don't. I really hope this is my shade when I'm gonna put this on. Should I do this? Questions, questions, questions. And yeah. 
in the car. She'll tell me. I don't know what to do. But yeah, I'm so excited to see her. And we honestly have a blast. It's funny because most people think she's a bitch. But she's one of those people like once you get to know her and she lets you get to know her, she's a blast. Just do like one side of your face. I don't think I'm supposed to put this much away. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Dark to you? Girl, I can't even tell I put it on. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, I can't. I was putting down on this camera or what? Like, no, I, I mean, I can't tell I put it on. So I'm gonna just, oh. I'm gonna just keep going. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. I love her, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. No. This is when I started just doing stuff. I think I told y'all, I don't, like I have my one close friend here. We went to college together. She was my roommate. That's why I went to the winery with. Winery with. And then I have one of my childhood best friends. Y'all, me and my childhood best friend have been friends since second grade. That's crazy. It's real crazy when I say it out loud. Second grade was such a long ass time ago. Me and him have been friends since second grade, so me and his wife are really cool. I have a couple of, like, little friends here and there, but, like, going out, getting out the house with, Jay the only person since I've been here that can, like, call me and I'll be like, all right, girl, I'm on the way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish getting ready, and then I'm gonna call y'all back. I have like two outfits laid out. I made it out the house one time. It was a lot. I was panicking. First of all, do y'all see what's missing? I don't know where my mascara is, and I'm not putting on a lash. I'm not in the mood for that. I, I'm just not. In the mood. So I gotta stop by a CVS that's close to the restaurant. I'm hoping and praying it's not just out the way for real. And then when I was leaving, I was trying to, I always try to put the stuff on for Uzi when I leave because if he sits in silence, he just hear everything. I didn't tell y'all I came home one day from leaving him out, which is something we do. This man tore the remote. So now I have to use the remote that's on my phone and I just ain't been nowhere to buy no universal remote. I'm not in the mood to do all that. But, Granita say he in there listening to the gospel now. Cause that's what that, the little phone pod pick. He gonna listen to that gospel. He gonna be happy about it in that cage with his phone. I can't make it out of the house. That's why I couldn't even show y'all the outfit because I couldn't get out the house. I told y'all like, maybe, always the Nissan. I think I told y'all like two vlogs ago. I can't ever get out the house. I struggle with that. I be finna walk out and all of a sudden 12 things need to be done. I don't forgot to unplug the flat iron. Child, I don't have time for that. So now we're headed to brunch. I am 10 minutes away. Am I going right? Yeah. I am 10 minutes away. Thank God. I was stressed. So, I'm gonna take y'all. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all. Uh, I must put something on these eyes. I look crazy. <laughs> Wait, you won't focus. Why is I focusing on you? Not the camera, hey. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm home. After shopping today with my friend, we had brunch. It was a really nice, like, hilarious day. I tried on the boot in Zara. Please ask me how long it took me to get said boot off in Zara. I was shopping for Beyonce. 
Cause I want something big. I want something that says I'm here. I want Beyonce. Oh's. He's so disruptive. Girls, hot on the boot. Is that even gonna do something? Yeah, let's see right there. <laughs> and you still have to laugh and got memories you couldn't help us? <laughs> You're right, come on. And that's not funny because people are looking at us and they're not even trying to offer you. <laughs> At this point, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not working. Oh, he was just passing by. That's what's wrong. You need to move. Are you like pulling from the? No, I'm. I'm really trying. Take the bed. This be well well. People were literally walking past us, like laughing. No, you can't go bark at that man. He's fine. He's doing his job. But, sorry to say, I'm finna go to bed. My homegirl was supposed to come over. She didn't end up coming over. My other homegirl invited me out. I'm tired.